The steady splashing as the oars of 200 ships strike the water drowns out all other sound. The most powerful fleet ever assembled by Don Juan of Austria and his allies in Venice sails under the burning light of dawn towards a final encounter with the Ottoman Turks. The Turkish army has greatly expanded its empire, adding North Africa and Mesopotamia to the Turkish holdings in Anatolia, but has finally been turned back by a staunch defense of Hungary. Undaunted, the Turks turned their attention to the Mediterranean, where they intended to break the Christian naval powers of Venice and Spain. Now, 230 rowed galleys and six heavy galleasses lumber into the Bay of Lepanto to meet the 270 galleys of the Turkish fleet. The ships draw up with scarcely five miles separating the distance between them. A storm of arrows darkens the sky, and the drone of splashing oars is finally drowned out by the thunder of cannon. The heavy Venetian galleasses broke through the Turkish lines and trampled over the smaller ships of the Turks. But there were too few of the galleasses to win the battle on their own. The Spanish and Venetians attempted to grapple and board the Turkish ships where the superior experience and weapons of the Christian marines could be brought to bear. As the day wore on, the Turkish juggernaut began to run out of steam. Scores of Turkish galleys were dashed on the rocks, and others sank to the bottom of the bay. Less than 50 Turkish ships survived the battle. Lepanto was not the climax of the conflict between the Christians and the Turks on the Mediterranean, but it was a turning point. The Turks had difficulty rebuilding their fleet back to its former size, while the Christians continued to update their fleets with the latest technological advancements, ensuring a decisive military advantage for further encounters on the high seas.